If your forehand has been sailing long in matches or crashing the bottom of the net and you're finally ready to start hitting your forehand like your favorite pros on TV, then this is the video for you because today I'm going to spoon feed you the perfect topspin forehand practice routine. So if you're ready, you know what to do. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you so many great exercises and drills that you're definitely gonna be able to feel that tossin when you go through on the practice court and do what I show you. Now, why is topspin so important? Before we get into the drills, why is topspin so important to learn, especially on the forehand, which should be your biggest weapon on the ground stroke. Probably your biggest weapon beside your serve is going to be your forehand. And the, the topspin on the forehand is a game changer because in the 60s, 70s, maybe a little bit in the beginning of the 80s, you had a bunch of different styles of forehand. I mean, actually some of the best players in the world would actually chip most of their forehands. And then people like Jimmy Connors would hit a lot of forehands almost completely flat, which is really hard to be consistent. You see, so if you're chipping the ball, you can get the ball nice and low, but, but the downside is you can't really like swing as fast as you want. You can't chip the ball and swing as hard as you want and be consistent. You know, you've got to kind of control and regulate your, your swing and kind of push the ball. When you're hitting flat, again, now you can rip it, you can swing faster, but but you got to be careful because if you're a little bit off, it's very hard to just basically hit the ball like a nail and a hammer and just be consistent and make shots all day long. You can see that one long, boom. That one, I made one out of three. That, that might have been O oh out of three. And along came topspin and then the pros discovered, huh, I can pretty much swing as fast as I want and that ball's going to go in every single time if I do the technique right. So that's why you want to learn topspin because it allows you to swing fast, be aggressive, play more aggressive style of play, but also be more consistent. And so whenever you watch a pro on tour, they set up, they're pretty much hitting a topspin forehand. So let's get into the first step that you need to do to start learning how to rip these topspin forehands. So the first essential step that you need to do is you need to video yourself. You need to take a video sample so you can see what's going on, especially if you're struggling to get consistent topspin on your forehand. If you video yourself, you're gonna find out why. Oh my goodness, B2, will you look at that, look at that. I'm a tweaker. So guys, what is tweaking? By the way, if you're excited for all these drills we're about to go through and you're enjoying this video and you're liking B2, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can improve your serve, your forehand, your backhand, really get good at tennis and have a lot of fun doing it. So tweaking, as you saw in the video, it's, you, you're going there and instead of trusting your forehand and approaching it with a correct racket at angle as you're hitting the ball and able to impart that friction, that spin, there's something that's a lot of times in the subconscious or just you just don't have the confidence to rip through the ball and you tweak, you open up without even realizing it. And it could just be a little bit of a hair, a hair of a tweak will send the ball along and then all of a sudden the rest of your shot looks okay. So what I'm gonna walk you through, because I find that most people who play tennis, everybody tweaks to some degree, but the more you do drills like this, you're gonna tweak less, okay? And you're gonna have a lot more confidence to trust your swing. So I'm gonna walk you through a bunch of drills to really learn how to get that feeling of spin on the ball so that you learn to trust your toss spin instead of becoming a tweaker. This exercise I have for you, I call them hand burners. You can do these around the house you can do it when you first show up to the court. Just get obsessed with doing this because remember the tweak, a lot of that comes in the hand, just kind of just slightly open as you're getting ready to hit your topspin and you lose that brushing of the ball. So what you want to do is you want 
to get a ball and you want to make, now you, you view this, you view your hand in the angle of the, which, which you set your hand up as the racket. So as you're approaching, you want to imagine that you're kind of leading up on edge to attack the tennis ball. At an advanced level, tennis is a game of edges and you're attacking tennis balls with the edge of your racket and then you're adding that spin. So now this part of your hand, right, this becomes the edge of your racket. So you want to angle it like this a little bit, okay? And you want to have your wrist laid back. You don't want to break the wrist. You don't want to be like massaging the ball and doing all kinds of things like, like this with your hand and turning over. That's, that's not going to work. So you want to be relaxed, but you want to keep the wrist kind of locked and engaged as you're coming up and you're going like this. And what you want to do is you want to add friction to the ball and then come over. You want to feel like a little bit of fire. That's why I call them hand burners, right? Kind of like if you're scraping two sticks together or rocks and you're trying to create a fire, you're trying to create a fire in your hand. You'll, you'll often be able to see uh, parts of the ball fuzz off if you do this, right? I can see some of those. I don't know if they're showing up on camera, but they're kind of like, there's fuzz coming off the ball and that's what you want to do. And so you're just around the house doing that. You can bring your hand a little further away as you do this too and you're really feeling that scrape. So that's the first exercise. If you just do 20 or 30 of those a day, which will probably take you less than a minute, you'll start to feel that, that feeling of toss spin, okay? So that's our first exercise. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the fence and I'll show you our second exercise to create this massive feeling of toss spin on our forehand. Okay, the second exercise that you're gonna do, I call them fence burners. So just like the hand burners, you wanna feel that friction on the fence. So what you wanna do is first start with your racket on the fence like that and have the edge just slightly tilting forward and feel a scraping against the fence. You're trying to create friction on your racket in the fence and then come over here and roll over and finish just like that. You see that? So you're, you're kind of pushing your hip and your hand against the fence. You're scraping up and then doing that follow through right there. I'll show you a couple from the back. Okay, so again, you're right here. You got that engaged. You feel that scraping up and over and that is your fence burner. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is the fence rebounder exercise. What you wanna do is now you wanna put a ball in between your racket and the fence and you wanna scrape up. When you do it right, the ball is gonna spin and go backwards, okay? So watch this. This is called the rebounder drill. So I'm here and you can kinda play around with it to kinda feel that spin first of all. Just get yourself started and then rip up and then over. And you can see how the ball goes up in the air and then it starts to spin backwards this way. Then you know you got that toss in working. Again, one more right here from the side. We're going to do one more rebounder exercise. We're coming here. You can kind of manipulate your wrist back and forth, really get yourself psyched up to spin it off the fence. And you can see it goes up and then goes back. I'm telling you, these exercises are battle tests. I've done this with countless players at all levels. And whenever we go through each exercise, back to back to back, and then I feed them some balls, they are ripping tossing. So make sure you go out and you try this. Okay, this next exercise is awesome. It's called clicks. It looks a lot simpler than it is, but if you don't have tossing naturally and you are a tweaker, like I showed you earlier in the video, you're gonna get your racket stuck in the net. The more you're doing what we're teaching, you're getting the feel of the spin, is you're going to make a clicking sound on the net strap. So again, you get your racket set, you wanna make sure it doesn't matter whether you're in an an Eastern or a semi-Western grip, a little tougher the continental grip, but any grip will work as long as you're coming at the rack, the, the, the swing, right on the edge and you hear that clicking sound. So you're coming here and you're looking to feel that nice light clicking sound. You don't want to feel heavy against the net strap. And when you do that, you're gonna start to feel, you can almost feel yourself brushing the top of the net. And I really like this because if you look at the width of the net there, the height of it, I should say, it's pretty much the size of, of one tennis ball. So it's kind of good. You want to make sure you're here. You drop below into the netting. You come up. You make that clicking sound and you follow through. You want to make sure you're reaching over the net too and then around. So it's here. Reach over across the net and then around. Now once you get those clicks going, you feel it working well, you're going to go into the Serena exercise. Let me show you what that is. So Serena Williams, I've watched her do a lot of practices on 
on video and one of the ways that she always likes to start practice is she likes to start super close to the net and then a coach will just drop feed so you can just drop feed yourself and then she's looking to spin the ball up over the net and then in the court. To do this you're going to have to have some pretty good toss and fundamentals in order to make this work. So you want to drop the ball below the net and then swing up and make it spin in. Below the net, spin up, make it spin in. And when you do that, you're going to get that nice feeling of what coaches tell you when they're saying to brush the ball. This will give you that brushing feeling and you're going to see your ball go up. That's the first thing Tossman does. It goes up and then you're going to see it dip down. So when you get good at the Serena, then you're ready to move back into our next exercise. The next exercise, we're back here at the baseline now and I call this the top of the hand trust. You want to trust the top of your hand and train it to when you're hitting the, the, the forehand that you always can see the top of your hand. Once you start to show the palm of your hand in any slight way, that's when you go into a tweak and the ball is going to fly on you. So what you want to do is first you just want to take a look at the top of your hand in slow motion so you can see what I'm talking about. Right now as I'm set in my unit turn, I can see the top of my hand. Then when I come back here and I put it in this position right here when I get ready to go into the hit, then again I can see the top of my hand and then as I'm leading the ball I can still see the top of my hand. As I'm hitting the ball I can still see the top of the hand as I'm looking at it, right? The palm's not showing to me at all and as I follow through again now I see the top of the hand all the way through. So what I like my students to do is to do two top of the hand shadow swings and then let it go and try and get that same feel on your shadow swing. So watch. Go top of the hand swing, top of the hand swing, top of the hand hit. We'll show you one from the back so you can see that ball goes forward and spins very nicely into the court. So here we are, two shadow swings and then a hit, top of the hand truss right here. So there we go, one, two, three. Oh, that is nice. See that ball roll right down the line. That is awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go into our next drill. See, if you do all these drills back to back to back, take about 10-15 minutes, There's you have no choice but to learn how to become a topspin expert. This next exercise I call spaghetti arms. What you want to be is you want to be relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the more you can hit easy topspin and add power to it. It's one of the things that I've struggled with, to be quite frank with you, over the years is to learn how to relax enough. And so Rick Macy actually kind of uh, had me do this drill. He didn't call it spaghetti arms, but I, I kind of thought about it because what he wanted me to do was spin the ball and then relax actually below my knee, okay? Which wasn't easy for me to do, again, since I tend to be more uh, tight, hold the racket too tight, uh, but this really helps you relax. And when you learn how to do this, you're going to learn how to hit all kinds of different spins and heights and everything. It's going to feel really good. So it's going to help you open up the court with higher spins, angle spins, be more relaxed, be more whippy, okay? So what you want to do is a spaghetti, or just let it go. Just let the follow through kind of go when you're done. Be super relaxed, feel, feel like your arm, your hitting arm is spaghetti, and you see how low I'm finishing there. And those balls all have a lot of spin. We'll show you some from the back. Again, nice spaghetti arm forehands. Look, look at that. Look how high it went and then it relaxed and it went in. Since you're just being nice, loose and whippy, you're going to see that you're going to add a lot more spin. Look at that follow through right down here. Look how I'm holding it. Rick would be proud. A little bit of the racket. There you go. Pull. Hello. I like that. Come on. That. I'm super relaxed. The racket's ready to just fall. Grab your hands. Let's go to our final exercise so you can become a topspin master. Our final exercise of the day I call the Novak finish, okay? So Novak has a lot of times where, especially when he's warming up, he's very clean, he'll even catch the follow through, but I notice his catch is a little bit different than the traditional catch where people are like over their shoulder and like that and showing the racket, but he actually a lot of times is coming across his shoulder and he's doing what I call a sideways hello finish. This again kind of helps you really break off the spin and, and get a little more action on the ball. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to catch the racket, but we're going to catch 
attach it over our shoulder here, or on the side of our shoulder, and we have a sideways hello. Just another way to feel a little more spin, to be playing like some of our favorite players on TV. So here we go. Here comes the Novak sideways hello finish right there. You see that perfectly executed right there, and it has a beautiful spin down the line. One more time right here, getting set. Boom. and hit, and there you go, guys. That's your perfect Tostin forehand practice. I think you go out there, you've got no choice to develop a weapon as a forehand. If you really want to master the forehand, and how would you like to do it in seven days, then you need to join my seven day forehand challenge. It's coming up, you go to seven day forehandchallenge.com. You can sign up for free, you got free 48 hour access to each day. If you want to get lifetime access, it's such a steal of a deal. So make sure you look for that deal as well. If you want to be able to watch these videos over and over again, we're going to be starting March 27th, and it's really cool because you have a lesson of the day, you have bonus lessons from our Tennis Con All-Stars, plus I'll even analyze your forehand all week for free. So make sure that you go to 7dayforehandchallenge.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're somebody who's really hungry and obsessed with tennis, that's who we specialize in, is those obsessed tennis players. We help them improve their serve, their forehand, their backhand, their strategy. So make sure you subscribe on your way out. Sign up for the seven day free forehand challenge and we'll see you guys on the next video.